Hi guys, weekend is coming and um, this weekend uh, I decided to go for a staycation in Sheraton Imperial Hotel. So what I'm going to do there is nothing. I'm not going to do anything, I'll just spend my time over there relaxing and also um, eating of course. So I would like to share with you what I'm going to do this weekend at Sheraton Imperial Hotel. So let's go. Alright, okay. okay. right, guys, I've got my room key. Let's go to the room and check out how their room looks like. I found the room. Alright. Alright guys, I've just checked into the Sheraton Imperial Hotel's room. So now I would like to show you how their room looks like. As we walk in here, there is a table, a cupboard here with some drawers and two complimentary drinks. And so let's check out on the left hand. Oh, this is the toilet. Wow. This is how their toilet looks like. They have another two complimentary drinks here with some of the towels, facial baths, all these uh, toiletries. And wow, this is a very big bathtub. You can enjoy your bath here with a very big mirror as well. And this is the uh, toilet bowl. They even have a shower room here. So if you do not want to uh, use the bathtub, you can use this shower. Let's check out the other side. Oh, what is this place? Oh, they have the laundry room. Or oh, what we can call this. This is like a storeroom to me, but it's their cupboard, it seems, to put our clothing here. Let's check out their room here. This is their two single bed and also a table for you to sit down and walk. Wow, this TV is big. I guess this would be at least about 50 to 60 inch TV. Hmm, nice. Alright guys, let's check out what view that we have for this round. Wow! This is a nice view. I've finished unpacking my stuff in the room and the next thing that I'm going to do is to have the high tea in their pavilion launch. I've just recently know that there are certain promotions that's running in their pavilion launch that is on the high tea sets. So we are going to go and try over their high tea. But before that, let me tell you a bit history about the high tea. High tea actually comes from the European countries, especially in England. During the 1990s, in England, those people only eat two meals in a day. That is the breakfast, and also dinner they does not take any lunch so um one of the wealthy um woman or we call it a lady means that it's a married lady to a rich uh, man um she have some urge to eat something during in between the breakfast and also the dinner time so she tried to order his uh servants to prepare some of the small cakes and tea bits for her to eat so Along the time, she invited some other of her friends to come along and enjoy the meal together with her. So during that time, they started to have um, the meal in between breakfast and dinner time. And um, as time goes by, they slowly actually created a culture in England itself it, that is called high tea. 
So that's how it actually comes from the high tea. If you can see from the high tea sets, they have a, a three layers of sets and also have some teas. So they have a different types of sequence in eating those uh, high tea. Later on, I'll show you some of the manners in eating that high tea. Wow, they have the coffee grinder here, so big. Mm. This is the hot water, the cups, and you can also select some of the tea from this brand called Dilma. I've got my high tea set. Let me show you how it looks like. This is the three layer of the high tea. What you have to do is to start from the bottom. You finish up the bottom level and you go into the level two and then finish up on the third. So that's why you see a lot of the high tea on the top part will be the dessert part. So and another uh, manners that you have to take note is when you drink the tea, don't stir it on the round way. You have to stir it on up and down slowly. So this is to reduce the amount of sound that it produced so you have a, a better manners uh, dining so we are going to start our high tea now and shine mm. morning guys today is day two and we are going for our breakfast so we are going to check out what spreads do they have wow all right let's check out what we want for our breakfast hmm Fried rice, Indian donuts, ah, great This is the Indian part here. Let's check out other place. Ah, this is the Western. We have this type of hair. <coughs> Station. Hmm. Noodle station. They have their porridge. Wow, oh, they even have their dim sum here. Three types of dim sum. Hmm. Thank you. Wow, the pool is nice.
have just done with our swimming in the pool so now I'm going to get back to the hotel wash up and prepare for our lunch Makan! Wow, this is the locker room. Mm. Relaxation lounge. What does this mean? Sit down, relax. CTV. Mm. This is their changing room. Bedding. This is the uh, sauna room. Can you see anything inside? Wow, it's a bit hot. Let me try. Yeah. Well, this is really hot and dark. All right. Mm, wow, this is the jacuzzi area. Hmm, I should come later on. I had a good rest and now we are going to their restaurants to check out their Alaska buffet. So I'm waiting forward to that. Alright, check out what they have in their restaurant during the dinner buffet. Mm. Pao and Tim Sum. Oh, this is the one that is very interesting. Bao Ji Seng Soup with Chicken. Check this out. Wow! Nice! They have their noodle station. This is their noodle station. And let's see. Mmm, spaghetti. Wow, the oyster, the big oyster. There's a lot of other food. Mm. Normally we eat in the restaurant right, now we can get it in the buffet spread as well. And um, they also have some seafood that you can select and they will cook for you in a hot pot. Mm. They have satay, some meat, fish, vegetables. Oh, nice. What is this? Mm. Uh, okay, this vegetables and ding ding. This is the bread, pita bread. All right, guys. This is the uh, section for the salad and also the small part of a uh, food. You can see cheese, chicken pepperoni, beef pepperoni. They have all these hams. Then there's smoked mackerel, and then they have the salmon vegetables. Oh, they have the nuts as well here. Mm. This is tuna salsa. They have other types of salad as well. Alright, where is my Alaska crab instead? I couldn't find it. I can find it. Ah, here it is. This is some of the fresh oysters, all these sashimis, and then on top of here, this is the Sashimi and sushi counter as well. Mmm, yummy. Guys, guys, check this out. They have a lot of desserts. Nice. 
Hey, I would like to have one of these. I would like to tell you, Alaska crab is very nice. It's fresh, and when you peel it off and you put it in your mouth, mm, number one. Alright guys, this is the must try, the picking duck, popia. Of course, I couldn't forget about this ball casing, so I'm gonna take one of these. Can I have one? <coughs> mm. This is very good. It's a ginseng soup. Alright, we've done our dinner and now we are going back to the room to rest. Good night. Morning guys. Today is Sunday and today is the last day that we are going to be in Sheraton Imperial for this vacation. I'm going to check out at 12. What I'm going to do now is to have a great breakfast and then prepare we're checking out. Let's go. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. See you. That's all, folks, for my Sheraton Imperial Hotel review today. I hope you like it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.